Hey guys, this is a Great Dane Hummer here, as you know me on the uh, forums. And I want to take a minute here and show you a bit about my S-Pod uh, issues that I had. And uh, I got my little lucky buddy, Great Dane, here. And get to show off my nice work in the baby room here that we're making. And uh, here is my S-Pod. So you can see it. Okay. And what you can see is how much it, it burned and melted up in the corner here, the plastic and everything. And one of the things I left on these cables so you could see, hopefully here, that I went above and beyond the, uh, the actual required um, wiring that they asked for, the gauge to it. Okay? And I did have uh, the fuse connected in correctly, and it actually melted down the fuse even on here. Um, melted down the top pieces and stuff. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I, I want you guys to know that, you know, this is this is just my experience with it. What I, uh, you know, they offered to fix this, so you guys should know that. Um, I did decline. I, I didn't want them to bother uh, working on it because I, I'm definitely not going to uh, use their product on my on my uh, H3 anymore for a variety of reasons. One is reliability, but one of the biggest things too that I didn't like was this is the screen that they give, okay? It's not very big. It's uh, not very um, touch friendly. And what I mean by that is when, when you go to try and touch it while you're driving and you're bouncing over off-road um, areas, it's it's not that responsive like you could tap it a couple times sometimes to to get a um, to get it to activate the lights and things and the size of the buttons were so small that it just made it kind of cumbersome versus using a traditional um, relay and switch setup and you can tell from my wiring you know I manage an electronics manufacturing company I I know very well how to wire up I went above and beyond. This is my harness I actually created for the uh, ARB setup here. You can see the nice heavy duty relay all taped up and, and my extended cabling and wrapping and stuff that I, uh, I put in here. You can see it's a very heavy duty gauge wire that I used on this whole entire setup. Fully insulated, gas, oil, everything. And yet I still uh, had it completely fail on me. Uh, on the Alpine Loop out in Colorado and I just felt being that high up I needed reliability especially when I was running the trails at, uh, at close to midnight which was you know pitch black out there and uh, on top of it I had some health issues up on the mountain and could not breathe and so it was left for my wife to to drive us down the mountain on her own and when this burned out there was nothing more than just the headlights on the trail um, and, and steep drops off on the side and things and I just don't want to take that risk again I, I don't feel it's worth it to me you know if I had traditional relays and, and toggle switches uh, you know I can build it heavy duty enough I, I, I have big uh, 60 amp relays and things now in my, in my truck that uh, won't fail I have uh, integrated fuses and things so that, that's kind of my experience with it so you guys should know that they did offer to fix it and I give them credit for that, but uh, I, I just think their, their product didn't live up to what it was supposed to be in the first place, and, and I don't want to take a chance at it. Um, I can also tell you that none of my products, you know, my lights, um, the fan setup on it, the air compressor, none of that exceeded the amperage rating that, that they advertised for this product in any way, shape, or form. By far, it, it wasn't even close to it. Uh, thanks, guys. Bye.